Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'll be showing you five programs you should have on your PC. You don't need these, but they will help you a bunch and improve your PC experience. So I'm just going to basically be showing you five programs you can install uh, through your web browser. And this does include a, a recommended browser in it as well. So that's always good if you want a better one than Firefox, for example, but it's up to you. So the first one is called Driver Booster. So what this does is basically just once you've uh, installed it, you can just scan your PC and it would detect drivers that are either outdated or updated. So if they're outdated, it would be on the outdated tab and there'd be an updated tab or up to date tab. Um, so you can see what ones are updated. But I'll be showing you um, basically all, I'll be going through all of the programs. But yeah, so this just basically in, um, updates your browsers, uh, your drivers, sorry. Right, so to download this, you just want to go ahead and click free download. Might have a few more um, buttons you need to go through. But once you've got that, you can just go ahead and search for driver booster. Uh, for me, it's driver booster 3. And then just go ahead and click scan. And as you can see, it says scanning Razor Black Widow and stuff like that. And my mouse my monitor and yeah my pc so all of these are updated because two drivers have been updated since they were installed and i installed it today and i updated them today obviously so yeah you can just go ahead and um, in the um outdated tab just go ahead and go on download and then update or install rather and yeah your drivers will be installed so the next program is called c cleaner and what this basically does is deletes temporary files and also fixes registry issues. So you just want to go ahead and select one here, you can buy it if you want. And you can have a free trial of professional, so that's basically free, which is obviously free. Professional, which isn't free, but you get a free trial, which is for 30 days, I'm pretty sure. And then there's professional plus, which is not free at all, you have to buy it. And there's a very big sale on it, was nearly £70, and now it's 30 So yeah, you might want to get that while the sale's on. The chance I won't even go back, but it must do. So you just go ahead and click uh, either download or free trial, it depends on what one you want. And then just go ahead and install it and then run it. So C Cleaner, here we go. So this basically is a cleaner tab. I'm not going to do this because it might mess up my recording or something. You can just go ahead and run cleaner or analyse and then run cleaner or whatever. I'm not sure. I always just do run cleaner. And then it would basically just um, empty or get rid of all temporary files. Or at least most of them like in the temp folder. And if you go ahead and go on the registry tab and scan for issues and then fix selected issues. Basically that would just fix uh, issues in the registry. These keep coming back and they're quite... They come up quite often so yeah some won't really be able to be fixed but they it will say it's been fixed or something like that and there's an upgrade tab down here so you can upgrade to a professional and there's tools that you can uninstall programs you can just do that from the control panel i mean if you can't do it from there you might be able to try it well you could try and do it for here and it might work which would be quite good and then there's options which is upgrade to pro as well this is just the later version that has the upgrade on and you can just go ahead and go on in the settings tab and uh, run C cleaner when the computer start starts is one option cookies that just shows you a list of cookies not 100% sure what they are but it's to do with browsing just websites basically I think it's just what you go over uh, will also be uh, cleaned in the cleaner and there's include, ones you want to empty and ones you want to exclude, exclude, whatever. Um, so you don't want to affect those. Then there's monitoring, not sure what that is. And then there's advanced, I just have these. So yeah, that's really it for CCleaner. So the next program or browser is Google Chrome. So this is what I'm using right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you Internet Explorer for a start. I know there's an updated one on Windows 10, but I'm just going to show you this one for a start. So this is just basically what internet browser look like, uh, browser looks like. So you can just go ahead and type stuff in there and it comes up with Bing suggestions and stuff. There's also Microsoft Edge, uh, which is an updated version of uh, Internet Explorer, which is a lot better in my opinion. It's nearly as good as Google Chrome. 
So you can just go ahead and go to the uh, download uh, section here. You can have for personal computer, for mobile as well. You can just go ahead and download that. That is like this. So you can just go ahead and search some random stuff in here. And the scroll is better than Firefox in my opinion. It just goes straight down. It doesn't actually like go down like smoothly, which it can be nice, but it's not that quick. So that's Google Chrome. Uh, so it basically is just a recommended browser for most people, well, I didn't mean to go on that, and uh, for smooth experiences. So the next program is Nineite. Unfortunately, you have to install this every time. Um, so if you just go ahead and search Nineite, it will come up uh, in the search, hopefully. And then you just go ahead and go on the um, website. This basically just installs, installs specific, specific programs at once. So if you install Chrome, which is here, that could be good for installing all these programs, that would be good. You can have Audacity, you can have Codex, Spotify, QuickTime and stuff like that. And they're all sorted into different sections. So like Runtimes, that's got Java in, uh, Net, whatever that is, Silverlight, Air and Shockwave. And Imaging as well. There isn't Photoshop, but you can't really do that because you need the actual, um, uh, whatever you call it, the... Um, Adobe Creative Cloud, that's what it's called. So you can just basically select them here and then get install it and install them. And as you can see here, it says install in Dropbox. So if you select that, it should come up with that sometime. And you can skip some of them because uh, they might be up to date. And this basically just updates some of the uh, programs as well as install them, which is very good as well. So the next program and last is WinVar. Just go ahead and search WinVar. I typed it wrong. It still comes up though, so it's about W-I-N-R-A-R. -R. Just go ahead and go on the downloads. And then if you have a 32-bit computer, obviously go to the top one. And if you have a 64-bit, get the X64 one. And you can get different ones if you're like on Linux or Mac, which is always good. And it does say trial here, but don't worry, it's an infinite trial. At least at the time of recording this, I'm not 100% sure why, but yeah, so it's just a trial, but it's not really, so it doesn't really matter. There's some free ones anyway, like interface themes, I'm not tried that out, and you get it for Linux for free and stuff like that, and Google Play, which is good on Android. So yeah, that was basically all the programs that you should install. You don't have to install all of them, as I said, but they will help improve your PC experience. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then smash that like button. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.